What's up guys, Nate Taylor here, and today we're talking about how to take your awful lighting like this and turn it into this. All right, well, just a quick and simple video today. We're gonna to be talking about how I light my videos. Typically in lighting situations, you have three lights. You have a key light, you have a backlight or a hair light, and a fill light. So typically for my YouTube videos, I only use a key light. For right now, I'm using just one. Here about 11 o'clock from me. I typically like the more dramatic style. As you can see, I have it cut right down the middle of my face and I have this little triangle of light forming right here. That's another thing that they call Rembrandt lighting. Another thing you see in Hollywood, like in this photo from Marvel. And my key light is just one light that I've got on Amazon. It is cheap, it is, you know, I don't have a big budget for things, but I have this light and it's great. The thing I love about this light is it has multiple settings. So I can dim it down, I can make it brighter, I can really get it to where I want, where a lot of cheaper lights don't allow you to do that. And that's why I really love this light for making YouTube videos. And guys, the best thing about this light is it gets really bright. Bright pixels equals sharp pixels. And that's ultimately what we all want is sharp, contrasty videos that has a lot of punch. At least that's what I like. Because unfortunately, it's not like the Aperture 120D light where, you know, it's a big octagon, big circle, basically. This one is a square, but it's cheaper. So it's good for you guys. It's good for me when you don't have a lot, of, when you don't have a big budget. Now the other light I wanna be talking about is this little light that's back here. It's light that my little cute Ikea plant. The Aperture AL M9, this cute little light is amazing. Oh, it's really bright actually. <laughs> but this light is awesome. I mean, it's so small. I mean, you know, it's so small, but man, it packs a punch. I mean, as you can see, like, like wow, it is bright. And the best thing about this light is it comes, you can dim it down dim it back up it's really nice that way and you know lighting scares a lot of people it's something that i was scared about when i was starting as a filmmaker i didn't really know how to light someone and i was able to learn through youtube videos and from watching product reviews of these lights and you know i went with this light because it was cheap it helped me on my budget and this little alm9 light from aperture is awesome you know, we could even light this whole scene with this one little light if we wanted to. I'm doing it later when I actually review the whole light. But like I said, this is a great lighting setup for those of us that are on a budget. I mean, all in all, I maybe spent a hundred dollars on this whole lighting setup. And when it comes to this industry, that's not a lot for the production value that you get out of it. So that being said, I'll link these below. So if you're ever interested in buying them, link down below. Well, that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys liked this short little video. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And leave me a comment down below of things that you're interested in learning. And I hope you guys have a good day. You know what? Have a great day.